Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to reset your HP Pavilion 20 laptop to factory settings on your Windows 10 running computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty quick tutorial, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the Start menu by left clicking on it one time, and you want to proceed to type in Reset into the Start menu. Best match should hopefully see Reset this PC. You want to just open that up and the new window that comes up here should have recovery over on the right and underneath that it should say reset this PC if your PC isn't running well resetting it might help this lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstall as Windows left click on this get started button now if we're going to do a complete factory reset removing everything I'm going to select the second option remove everything remove all your personal files apps and settings now I would recommend creating a backup of your files before you proceed with this video. It's just good practice as well to an external media source like a flash drive, USB disk, whatever you prefer. So it's just to get things ready here, so just please be patient. Do you want to clean the drives too? If you're going to be donating your computer or giving it to somebody else, I'd recommend the second option, remove files and clean the drive. Otherwise, for most people, just removing your files, the first option will be sufficient. And then, like I said, make sure you have a backup of your computer because once you click on this reset button, it will remove all personal files and user accounts on this PC, all apps and programs, as well as any changes made to settings. This will take a while and your PC will restart. Left click on the reset button here to get started. This will take some time, so please be patient.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. So we'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here, it should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Okay, everybody, so we are back. It looks like our HP Pavilion 20 has been reset to factory settings of factory state, so it should be clean. Everything should be ready to go for you guys, so do whatever you were going to do before. And I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.